Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel DIY Repairs. Today we are going to make a simple brushless DC motor from a bad quartz clock mechanism and a A-stable multi vibrator circuit. Now let us see the circuit of a A-stable multi vibrator. Here is the circuit. It has two NPN switching transistor. This T1 and T2 are the two NPN transistor whose value is is BC547 a cross coupled feedback network so R2 and R3 are cross coupled feedback network and two time delay capacitor this C1 and C2 are the time delay capacitor which allows uh, oscillation between the two states with no external triggering to produce the change in state so you can see the output we can get from these two points and the output is in the form of a square wave. The value of other components are R1 and R4 is 1 kilo ohm, R2 and R3 is 10 kilo ohm and C1 and C2 is 33 microfarad. The frequency is given by the following uh, formula. The frequency is 1 by time period equal to 1 by 1.38 R and C. R is resistance, C is capacitor. Where the value of R is the value of either R2 or R3 and the value of C is uh, either it is C1 or C2. So in our case the R is 10 kilo ohm and capacitor C is 33 microfarad. So when we calculate from this formula we get 2.19 Hertz. We can assemble this whole circuit on a general PCB board uh, like this these are the two LED uh, four resistance and two capacitor and two transistor now check this circuit by giving power source to this circuit so I am using a 9 volt battery so these are the two terminal red one is positive and black one is negative and these two black wires are the output pin So you can see it's working and both LEDs are blinking. Now we are going to open this uh, defective quartz clock mechanism. Uh, so for making a uh, brushless DC motor we required only this coil and this gear with magnet. Before connecting the A-stable multi vibrator circuit to this coil make sure that the coil is in a good condition. So let us check with uh, multimeter. You can see these are the two points where coil is connected. So coil is in good condition. Uh, no need to take out this circuit because it is defective and uh, does not interfere with our uh, stable multi vibrator circuit. Now we are going to uh, connect uh, the output of this multi vibrator circuit to this point. So let us do it. So we require to thin wire. We can also solder this wire to these two point. So you can see 
I have connected these two wire to this coil. Now uh, connect this two wire <coughs> with the output of our stable multi vibrator circuit. Now we are giving the power to this circuit uh, we can also increase the speed of uh, this brushless motor by increasing its frequency